To obtain the Ginger Steam 2 Extreme files, you must navigate to this link. Down the page a bit, you will see a zip file link. Click it to download and choose your download destination. I already downloaded the zip. Your phone should now be connected to your computer. At this point, you will choose either the phone's internal memory or the external SD memory to copy the zip file to. I chose the external SD memory. You can do this easily by simply dragging and dropping from your computer to your SD card. Everything else will be on the phone now. You will need to download ROM Manager, which is free in the market. You can find this by searching CWM. ROM Manager should be the first result that comes up under Apps. On your screen, you will see Install instead of Open. Once you've installed this app, go ahead and open it up and click OK on the pop-up box that comes up. You will want to back up your phone's image. Just in case something happens, this backup will put your phone back to the exact way it currently is. Click OK to start the backup process. Your phone will reboot one time. Since I already backed up my phone, I will go on to the next step. After your phone powers up again, reopen ROM Manager and click Flash Clockward Mod Recovery. Navigate to where it lists LG Esteem and go ahead and click it. Notice the installation bar up top. Doing this will allow your phone to be programmed with a downloaded zip file. ROM Manager will ask for super user access and the install will be complete. Now click Reboot into Recovery and click OK. After a few moments, Clockwork Recovery will open. Once inside, you will use the phone's volume up and down buttons to move up and down the lists and the power button to make a selection. Navigate to where you see Wipe Data Factory Reset and navigate down to where you see Yes and select this option. When this is complete, you will be back on the main menu. Navigate down to Advanced and then wipe Dalvik Catch. Once again, scroll down to where you see Yes and make your selection. Now, scroll down to where it says Go Back. This will take you back to the main menu. Finally, select Install Zip from SD Card and select the first option if you copied the zip file to your external SD Card or the fifth option if you copied it to your internal memory. Navigate to where the GSE zip file is located and select it. And of course, navigate down to where it says yes and select. Everything else at this point will be automatic. A big thank you to Playful God from the Android forums for all of his hard work and dedication in making and tweaking this ROM. After the ROM is successfully installed, select Go Back and select the first option to reboot the phone. I did speed up the rebooting process for time purposes. And once your phone fully boots up, you will need to configure it again like it's a brand new phone. After you have completed initial configuration, you must clear your market catch and data by going to Settings, Applications, Manage Applications, All, and scroll down until you see Market or Play Store. You might want to check for both. And as stated before, you will want to clear the catch and the data. This step fixes an issue in which some people could not install any applications from the Google Market. After a quick check, my phone does not have a Play Store icon.
You must also go into ROM Toolbox, click Continue, and allow super user access. It is okay to force close your status bar. Just reboot your phone later to fix it. Slide your thumb or finger to the left to select the performance tab at the top and select build prop tweaks. Make sure that the LCD density is at 240 and the VM heap is at 96. Go ahead and click apply even if your settings are fine to reboot your phone and reset your status bar. I would like to add that if you decide to change any of the settings in this app, do not immediately allow them to be set on boot. Test them for a few minutes at minimum to make sure your phone can handle them. Then feel free to allow them to be set on boot. A big thank you to my 159 and growing subscribers for making my videos worthwhile. Feel free to link and embed this video anywhere.